Okay. Good morning to all of you. Thank you for being here this morning today. For us, a very, very special day is one of the four major special holidays in Tibetan Buddhism. And it's said that everything what we do today in regard to the spiritual practices is actually multiplied a hundred thousand times. So this time you meditate for maybe a lot of sentient beings and also a lot for your own benefit. And uh, so my name is Manuela and I'm going to guide you this morning. And we have a full program, so after the meditation I will also give you a little bit of overview um, what is going to happen more today. And before we start with the meditation, we also have the online students, um, also to them a very special welcome. And I would like to know from you how many of you are first time in Tushita, first time in meditation. Can you give me? Oh, okay, not so many. So for you, anyway, a very special welcome. So you have today this amazing opportunity to come together with so many people. Most of them are already quite experienced, and they will just take you on the path towards enlightenment. So what um, we're going to do today, I will just give you a quick overview of what type of meditations we're practicing today. So especially for the people who are quite new and for the ones of you who have attended sessions here already so you know what is coming, you are absolutely welcome to already start your practice by just uh, coming into posture and focusing on the breath. And the rest of you, if you could just give me your ears for a few more moments. So Tushita is a meditation center, you may know maybe the reason you, why you came here this morning. And we are also a Dharma Center, which is simply a place where we teaching and interacting with the, to, with the teaching which Buddha gave us 2,600 years ago. And we're giving an opportunity to practice, to learn. And um, in uh, Buddhism, there are many different traditions. And we specifically, as Tushita, we belong to the tradition of the Gelupas, which is a, a tradition in the Tibetans, in the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. And I think one of the major faces of Tibetan Buddhism, most of you may know him, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, um, which is just residing down in the temple. And in Tibetan Buddhism, um, we are focusing on two types of meditations. So the first type meditation is something, the Sanskrit word here is shamatha, um, which um, simply means, if you're translating it one-to-one -one into, in, uh, into English, uh, is calm abiding. And this is simply where we're going to use an object. Today we're going to start with our breath. So we're going to use the breath as your object. And whatever the mind, whatever comes, into your mind or an external sound or the movement of your neighbor or some difficulties in your body, whatever is there, you always try to come back to the breath. So we're trying to develop some stabilization, concentration and clarity by just focusing on the breath again and again and again. And for this practice, it's quite a simple practice, but we need some diligence, we need some patience because we you will experience, you may sit down and you want to just have some peace and all these waterfalls of thoughts are washing over you. And um, so we every time, with joyous effort, with an inner smile, whenever we get distracted, coming back to the breath. And this technique, I think, is also known as single-pointed meditation, stabilizing meditation. It's also not only practice in the Tibetan tradition, this practice I think is quite known in many, many different traditions all over the world. And then we're going to do this for around 15 minutes. And then we're going to have a little break where you can make a little wiggle with your body, stretch a little bit, releasing tension and tightness out of the body. And then we're going to do a practice which is more likely, I think, mostly practice in the Tibetan tradition. And this practice here, the Sanskrit word is vipassana, not too completely confusing 
with our neighbors in the Tibetan tradition, it had slightly different meaning. And here, Vipassana, the English word is, is, or the, is insight, and we also call it critical meditation, contemplation meditation. So this is a more guided meditation, so I will guide you through a specific topic, and actually today we, I thought, let's open our heart and let's do a meditation on loving kindness so we can, over this whole day, hopefully when we developing it a bit more, cultivating in us today so we can share it with each and everyone we meet today. And in this analytical meditation, it's really important that we let go of intellectual knowledge and really allowing ourselves to get into this practice. And analytical meditation is really designed to get some insight, to make it your own experience. Because usually in... in I think when we learn something, I mean, in Buddhism, we talk about the three wisdoms, but I think it's very secular. So the first wisdom is actually we hear something, then, then we contemplate on something, talking with friends, doing some research, discussion groups, whatsoever. And then the third wisdom is actually the wisdom of integration, when things really becoming our own experience. And these analytical meditations are really designed to give you an experience of it. Yeah. And I think this is the most important things before we start. Uh, one thing also, please put your phone in silence mode. Alarms off, or if you have any devices, just make them in a silent or flight mode so it's not disturbing everyone. And then also, please leave your expectation also outside the door because expectation is kind of the enemy of meditation. And you are here, and this is really what counts, right? You took the effort, you come here, you came here this morning, you try your best, and this is so worthwhile. So whenever you feel in the meditation, it's not working or whatever, just think about this a moment, right? You try your best, you came here, you took effort. That's so great, so really thank you for that. Okay, and I have this wonderful singing bowl here, so I'm going to use the singing bowls also to now start the session, and then for the break, and then for the end. And then you can just take the first few moments here to make yourself comfortable in the way you sit by simply grounding your sit bones in the cushion or the chair. And if you sit in a cushion, try to make sure that your knees are slightly pointing down. And when you are in a chair, make sure your feet are touching the ground so you're not leaning back. And in that way, we finding a stable base for our lower body. And then from within that stable base, taking a moment to bring our spine in an upright position. Not too tight, not too loose. Or it might be helpful to imagine that someone from the top of your head is just gently lifting you up. And then we can find a place for our hands where they can rest for this practice. If you know any gesture, any mudra, please do so. Just make sure that your arms are wide away so your chest is still open, the armpits can breathe. And then you can follow me in a little movement by just bringing your shoulders once up to the ears and rolling them back. And it's quite a tiny movement, but it really helps to relax and level the shoulders. And it also simultaneously allows your chest to be open, so your breath can flow freely throughout this practice. And then the neck, just the elongation of your spine. And then bringing your awareness into your face. And here, take a moment to relax the jaw the mouth, the tongue, the teeth, 
the cheeks, the ears, and then especially your eyes. Now take a moment to really relax the eyeballs. And then all the tiny muscles around, the eyelids relax, the eyebrows, the forehead soft and at ease. And then now you can decide with more relaxed eyes to if you want to meditate with slightly open eyes or closed eyes. But if you take a decision, then stay with that. And then having arrived a little bit more into our body, let's scan our body once more. From the top of your head towards the tip of your toes. In your own time. Going through each and every part of your body. And if you encounter tightness, tension, you can just use your exhales and inviting these areas to soften and to release. And then having prepared our body for meditation, you also can prepare the mind and usually the mind keeps on following the body, so when the body is relaxed and at ease, the mind also can follow. And now for your mind, just let go of whatever hinders you to come to rest in the present moment. Letting go of expectations, thoughts, worries, concerns. Right now, nothing to solve, to think about. Just allowing this wonderful being to be here to try your best in meditation. And then from within that state, we can find a motivation for today. And here you can just take a moment to think about that how marvelous it is that you have this opportunity to come here, to try to meditate, that all these circumstances came together. And then, you know, we came also to this idea that probably the outside pleasure, the outside happiness is not completely fulfilling, is fulfilling us, and that's why we Take this opportunity to look inside, developing our own inner good quality. And we're going to give it a try here this morning in meditation. In that way, we can really say that if we try to cultivate loving kindness, peace within that, with inside of us, we can then also from that space really share it into this world. In that way, making this session from the beginning an act of loving kindness to ourselves and to that to all sentient beings. And also making this session our own personal contribution to a bit more peace in this world. Because peace outside starts from peace within. And then with this motivation in our hearts and minds, we can just start seeing the practicing of calm abiding by simply inviting our breath to meet the sensations of the breath, however you can observe it in your body. Here it's very important in meditation. We try not to change the breath in any way. 
you're just becoming aware of this natural flow. We are completely aware of the whole breath cycle when we're breathing in and when we're breathing out. Trying to place our attention on the breath's observation. Then from within that space, now I, I would like to invite you now to narrow your focus of attention into the area of your abdomen, connecting with the falling and rising of your belly, and simply trying to place your attention there, your awareness there. And with the out breath, we can just let go of thoughts that might have arisen, relaxing deeply. And every in breath, a new opportunity to arriving home in the present moment, centering ourselves in awareness. And every time you notice yourself distracted by a sound or a mental event or a thought, just trying to respond with an inner smile, feeling happy about it because you're already back in awareness. You're already back in the practice. Then you can just relax a little bit more, 
releasing the distraction and returning back towards the sensations of the breath in the area of the abdomen. In that way, we may have to do this again and again, but that's the way to train the mind, the concentration. And from time to time, we may also have to readjust our interest in the breath. I'm being a little bit like an empirical scientist investigating anything in regard with the breath, seeing that every breath is so unique, never happened before, and so different to the one before. In that way, letting the breath be the star of our show right now, and everything else fading in the back. And in this way, you can practice another three minutes on your own.
And then you can take a little break. And just readjusting and winding the mind for a moment to a little wiggle. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. Hmm? Okay, and then we can gently prepare our bodies again for a second half. And just taking a moment, so bringing our spine in an upright position, the shoulders relaxed. And all the muscles in the face relax and at ease. And I think Natan said this once, just sit as you would be the most happiest person on earth right now in this moment. And then for the last moments here again, we try to making the mind a bit more subtle with the breath observation. So again, allowing your awareness to send down into your body, and then focusing on the breath. And in our analytical part this morning, we're going to dive a little bit into the topic of love, of loving kindness. And here it's very crucial to understand that from a Buddhist point of view, in a Buddhist context, the definition of love, or what love actually means, or loving kindness, is to simply wish for living beings to have happiness and experiencing the causes of happiness. Simply the wish for others and also for ourselves to experience happiness, ultimate happiness. And here love has no meaning, no connotation with any expectation that we want something in return. It is really this pure aspiration, this pure wish for someone and ourselves to be happy and have the causes of happiness. And in this meditation now, we're going to spend some time to cultivating this wonderful quality within us. And then we can share it into this day today. To start with, just again, try to focus for another minute on the breathing. And then you can simply become aware of 
the openness of this moment, the quietness, the openness and the clarity of your own mind. And then you can focus this open sense of attention up on yourself, up on this sentient being that is sitting here on the cushion or the chair, and just wanting to be happy and not wanting to suffer. And we are all people, we are sentient beings. So try to direct now your awareness inwards, up on this sentient being that has your name. And try and try to look at it with the eyes of loving kindness. Try to look at yourself through the eyes of loving kindness. The sentient being who is you, who just wants to be happy and does not want to suffer. And as you recognizing yourself as a you can just ask yourself the question, what do I actually wish for? And to what do I actually aspire to in my life? And what would actually make me truly happy? Just contemplate and listen to your inner answer. And then allow yourself to bring to mind what you envision for yourself, what would truly make you happy. What do you think would truly make you happy internally? And try to bring up a sense of fulfillment, a feeling of contentment. do you really wish for in your life? Now as you think about this vision, I invite you now to imagine the clarity of your own mind, your own inner Buddha potential, or in general just your own inner potential of good qualities. And they becoming a radiant orb of light at your heart. And visualize the purity and clarity of your own mind is becoming a source of radiant light in your chest. And if visualizations are so easy for you, just try to focus on the feeling. 
And as you visualize all your good potential becoming this source of radiant light in your chest. Now with the out-breath, you can give rise to the aspiration of loving kindness for yourself. I imagine that immeasurable rays of light flowing out from this orb of light, just filling your whole being with every out -breath. With the out-breath, filling your whole being with light every time you exhale. And you can give rise to this thought. May I be truly happy and well. May I find lasting happiness and the causes of such happiness. With the out-breath, give rise to this heartfelt wish that you may indeed flourish and find the happiness you seek. And keep on practicing this, wishing yourselves happiness and the causes of happiness from your heart center, filling each and every part of your body with light and with positive wishes. the out breath, sinking into this feeling, may I find happiness and the causes of happiness. And then let your imagination play. Imagine that you attain here and now in this moment the realization of your own heart's desires, your own heart's wishes, and that you're experiencing right now the happiness, the lasting happiness that you see. With every out breath, let this visualization Come clearer and clearer. And then you can gently let go of yourself. And now I would like to invite you to bring here into the space in front of you a person who is very close to you, a person you really like, a person that if you just hear this person's voice, it fills your whole body with love and affection. Let this person appear in front of you quite vividly. Imagine what this person is wearing. And the person which you find it very easy to have this heartfelt wishes of positivity towards him or her.
And as you are very close with this person, you also may know about this person's aspirations in life, this person's vision for him or her own well-being. And then now, as you did for yourself, with the out-breath, sending this person, this your heartfelt wishes, may you find the happiness that you seek. As you breathe out, breathe out this light of loving kindness from your heart. giving rise to this wish. May you, like myself, find the happiness that you seek and may you cultivate the causes of lasting happiness. May you be well and happy. Let your imagination play. And then imagine that this dear person to you is actually finding the happiness they are searching, they are looking for. The fulfillment, the contentment that he or she seeks. And this is not only embracing genuine happiness, but also hedonic well-being. And I guess it's very important that these two needs are meet. And then we can gently let the appearance of him or her fades in the back, in the space of your mind. And then see if you are able to do the same with somebody you don't know well. Maybe someone you just saw here this morning, or the person you get your morning chai or coffee from, someone in the street. And then also let this person appear in front of you as best as you remember how they looked like. And then connecting once more with the chest area. And then see if you can also send this person this heartfelt wishes. May you be truly happy and well. And may you find the happiness that you seek. Like rays of light from your heart sending out your loving kindness. May you cultivate the causes for your own genuine lasting happiness. May you be well and happy And then see if you can invite more and more people in front of you. Maybe not only human beings, all kind of sentient beings. Imagine as mass, as sentient beings, 
surrounding now, placing them in front of you. And then try to send to this whole crowd, each and every one of them, try to send them your loving kindness, your love and affection. giving rise to this aspiration. May you all be happy and find the happiness that you seek for in your life. May you all cultivate happiness and the causes for lasting happiness. May all of you be happy and well. And keep on sending this with every outbreath. Bathing all the sentient beings in the rise of your love and light. And see if you can send this Love and light rays to the whole world. Open your heart completely, no boundaries. May each and every sentient being in this world find happiness and the causes of happiness. May each and every sentient being Be happy and well. And try to sending this out from your area of your chest. May you all experience a peaceful life, even in ease. And then you can gently let go of all imagination. And just coming back towards the sensations of the breath. Connecting once more in the area of the abdomen, the falling and rising of the belly. Grounding yourself once more in the present moment. And then we can gently bring this session towards an end. By simply rejoicing in our own efforts we put here into this practice. But also rejoicing in each and every one's effort here in this group. So many people came here this morning practicing together. We feel really happy about that. And then we can just dedicating, dedicating all this positivity we have created by doing this contemplation to the benefit and welfare and happiness of all sentient beings, ourself included. And I would like to close with the four immeasurable thoughts. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. And may all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free
free from attachment and aversion. And may all sentient beings never be separated from the happiness that knows no suffering. And if you want to add on your own dedication, please do so mentally. Omani Pemehom, may wisdom and compassion arise within you. So thank you so, so much for your wonderful practice this morning. It was very an honor for me to guide you, and I hope now your hearts are very filled with loving kindness. And now when you're leaving, going out of the store, you can really share this with each and every one you meet today. And sometimes it's all a, also a really nice little mind game instead of, hey, thinking like when we see someone whatever they were wearing, just giving rise to this thought, like, may you be happy, may you be happy, may you be happy. And the good thing is, when we do this, we feel happy. So it works, definitely. So, um, in that way. Okay. So, um, what we are planning now, actually, at 10 o'clock, we have already the next activation activity outside. But before that, also, we're going to do a butter lamp offering tonight. And uh, it's also always very auspicious to practice generosity on these days. So we have the opportunity for you that you actually can um, donate or do an offering for the butter lamps. So if you want to do so, you can just go into the office and do a donation there. And then we will put a butter lamp on in your name. And um, then also, of course, we're having two courses starting, one on Tuesday and uh, one on Wednesday, the intermediate courses in Rojamyang, and the introduction course with Glenn Svensson. So there are still spots available. You can also just register online and then coming to the office if you have any further question in regard to that. Then also today is Saturday. That means tomorrow, Sunday, there is no meditation, also especially for the online people. And then we will be here back on Monday, one, on Monday, one time more here in the big gompa, and then on Tuesday, we're going into Rajasattva gompa. And uh, yeah, so today program, now we're going to have the reading of the Golden Light Sutra down in the garden. And then at one o'clock, uh, I guess here, we have um, the chanting of uh, Manjushri, the name of Manjushri. And then at 3 p.m., a wonderful teaching from Glenn Svensson on how to cultivate mental balance and well-being. And then from 5 to 6, Medicine Buddha Puja. And at 7, the light offering. You can also quickly make a photo with your phone. And also, if you want to follow the meditations online, in case you're leaving now after this weekend, here's also the QR code. And... Also, backside, we have the donation box. So practice generosity today for your own benefit. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And then we are here the whole day. Hopefully, you too. <laughs> yeah, and if you have any questions, of course, you can come up. <laughs>